Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. We need to see what Yugiri has on her mind for tracking these Imperials who have just, well, sort of kidnapped these people from the village. What, no quick shade shift into your ninja form? Okay. Wait, you get on the mount. Thank you. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to deal with those the current stuff later. Time is of the essence. Oh, of course you did it off screen. Oh, you Gary, come on. I wanted to see some magic ninja powers. So, yeah. Yeah, she just gave us tranquilizer darts. I don't know if I should be terrified of this or revel in its sheer awesomeness. Zoom in as far as we can. Not sure where we just got a telescope, but okay. This this controller is way too sensitive. Not sure how that thing hit through the armor. So apparently now we have armor-piercing tranquilizer darts. You, Gary, what have you been packing? Okay, so I have apparently I have a map of this place now too. Is it gonna be as sparsely labeled as my last one? <sighs> I'm kind of facing the wrong way here, but <laughs> whatever. Do I, do I need to see a cutscene for every single one? <laughs> right in the spine. Is the last one. Here you are. I missed. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this analog stick control on this PS4 controller is uh, kind of oversensitive for this. Move it a tiny bit, <laughs> like jumps halfway across the screen. I miss this guy harvesting this bamboo with a hatchet. Um, apparently is none the wiser and doesn't care. Cool. No, uh, hi, random tree-ish people. Pardon my trespass. Well, that doesn't look the slightest bit foreboding at all. Thank you. 
Okay, does your name suck or something? Because, um, why can't you do this? Why you gotta be me? <sighs> okay. Alright, will you let me shoot the guy? He's like, oh my god, what happened to you? <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. I do like that nice little touch, though, that even for a brief moment, somebody does notice that something is not quite right. And we just snipe him before he can raise the alarm. Okay, well, well, have these people been trained to do this? Yeah. Okay, you broke it, you fix it, okay? Well, seems to be only one guy. We can take him. But at the very least, it, it seems that... Let's close for my healer. It seems they weren't entirely, well, lying about what they needed the people for. I mean, Yuri's got a good point. Yeah, they're probably going to be enslaved there um, for eternity and stuff like that, but... At least they're not, you know, taking them out in the back and just shooting them, you know? Well, we have a bunch of tranquilizer darts. Unless we used them all. Okay, uh, what signal though? What signal? You Gary, what signal? We didn't discuss this beforehand! I guess I just gotta sit here and wait. <sighs> Maybe she's using the cover of the suddenly dusk to her advantage. Let's hope. Okay, um... When did she have a hawk? Okay, so apparently she does have the ability to, you know, trank people.
Hmm. What size uniform should we get? Now here's here's the problem though. This got too short and this got too fat. Well, I suppose I can pack this with the rest of the thing. Yeah, see see you too fat, but you also too short. Well, a good thing it's, you know, war. Otherwise, this would be uh, a bit more questionable that I just stripped a man who was unconscious out of his clothing. Um, okay. <sighs> All right, so I guess I got to put on this dang uniform. I have everything. Oh god, my ears are gonna stick out like a sore damn thumb. So I guess, apparently I guess this is for like if you accidentally throw the stuff out or something. I don't know, I never really thought about that. So let's get our. Where is my. There's my Imperial salute. Okay. I know, I have to select the guy first. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to see your drunken shenanigans. So, you are a conscript. Alrighty. Now, doesn't it seem a bit suspicious that, you know, there's only one of me and two of you? Where is... I'm sorry, I can't menu for crap today. Yeah, but you guys kind of suck at your jobs. One person comes up being like, Oh, it's time to change the guard and there's only one of us. Why don't I keep it? Because if we need to have a stealth mission again, I can always, you know, put this thing on. Why don't we just loot the place so if we ever have a need to, to hide or blend in, we have the perfect means to do so. But I guess, I guess we'll... No, shit, because I'm stuck in combat. Okay, slippers back on. Okay, phew. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh my god, the darn attack dogs! I do not want to slay myself a pupper, but... Um... Are you not wearing pants? 
I mean, yeah, I know he's wearing... Sh if, if you look closely, you can see he's wearing shorts underneath there. But everybody else is wearing pants. Like, at least... This dude over here, you know, he's, he's not that one. The one right next to me. He's wearing a shirt long enough that, you know, you can absolutely assume he's wearing. But this guy from the front, it looks like he's not wearing pants. Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. To stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live! Or has that, too, been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? She's got a point. You were Lord Heon's retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it, and trying will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence, but it's all we got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it, it doesn't help, all right? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elder, your face. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles, too much lost, our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are as salt in our wounds. They only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord, praise you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Mm. 
Why would you... After everything? Because it's what I do. After all, do you need a reason to help someone? But yeah, eventually these Imperials are gonna wake up, and what the hell are they gonna do once they realize their, their dudes are gone? Like, are they just gonna assume that during the quote-unquote changing of the guard, they were already transported and nobody's gonna file up on- follow up on the paperwork or something, maybe? I don't know, we can only hope. Okay, so apparently she has armor-piercing tranquilizer darts, and also potions that make you forget stuff. Um, yeah. As I said before, it's a kind of a good thing that this is war, else this would be really, really bad. I mean, war doesn't necessarily make it all that much, much more excusable. But it's one of those, you know, you do what you need to. We do it for the sake of saving people's lives, so. What a day. I refuse to kill the puppers. No. I don't care if these dogs are out to, you know, tear my throat out or anything. Oh my god, these damn dogs. It's getting really annoying. So, um, anyone else find it weird that the suitable place seems to be right next to what I assume to be garbage bins of some kind? I mean, I'm hoping they're not, but oh my god. The implications are terrible. So, one thing, quick thing to note is this little thing right here is a Magitech transporter. And we've actually seen one of these before. If you remember way, way, way back when we defeated, you know, as I like to call him, Ritalin. The, one of the fir very first Imperials, uh... Well, not Imperials, but... I'm gonna have to kill this pupper. I'm really sorry. I need to save the current. But one of, the, uh, one of our very, very first trials... Well, eight-man trials. Um, back at Cape Westwind. During the beginnings of Operation Archon. Way, way back. Even before we were level 50. That was a level 49 trial, you guys.
Alright, so sorry I had to kill the pupper. I don't want to have to come all the way back here later to get that, so. Girl, what are you doing all the way here? Scared me for a moment. Forgive me for making you search. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. Uh, we already knew this. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. But what about your brothers? That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Aww. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind. That they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good. We are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. Yeah, really kind of sucks, but we do what we must. That you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen, it heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. You are my friend, Yugiri. An Imperial airship. 
It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. Uh oh, what does this all mean? So as we make our way back to the House of the Fierce, one thing that always kind of bothered me and I feel was a slight wasted opportunity amount in in light of everything is apparently we never even told or hinted to you Gary that we were literally at her home and that we met her parents up until before that very moment we didn't mention that and that was, I feel like that was kind of a wasted opportunity. Um, mainly because, obviously, Lisa and Alize know this information as well. And that her parents obviously love her dearly and miss her, I think would be something that would be, you know, you would think would bring her, gr you know, a bit of, of joy. Um... Uh, and that it would be something worth mentioning, and the fact that Yugiri has never told her us this herself, both either one of them could reason. Maybe there's a reason she didn't tell us. You know, it, is she ashamed of this, or I don't, I don't want to say ashamed, but is there a reason she's keeping it secret? So you could literally have just one of them begin to to mention something about it. Maybe just mention that we, we visited that town and have the other just just elbow the other one and be like, nye, nye, shut up, maybe there's a reason she hasn't told us this yet. And and honestly, it could be either because Lise would be, is, is more the person to just kind of babble on a bit and be like, oh crap, uh, shouldn't have said that, uh, whatever. So on the one hand, it might seem natural for her to to blurt it out and Alize, you know, being the one to just give her a quick elbow, being like, mm, maybe, maybe let's not right now, not appropriate time. But on the other hand, you could have it be the other way around because Elise, you know, traveled around for years under a false identity and she knows the importance of, you know, keeping secrets and why someone would want to keep something secret. So you could do it even either way and I think that would be a nice touch to you know, both signify to you, Giri, that, okay, we know, but also give her the opportunity to come forth with this information at her own leisure. You know, like, we, we would drop enough of a hint that, shit, maybe they know. Or, you know, give her reason about, you know, to, to be reminded of home and being like, you know what, these people are my friends, maybe I should really come clean about all this. I'm literally the only aura we've seen so far in what little we've seen of Doma, because you haven't seen any others here, people. They're, they're not exactly populated around here. Um, you know, that we might start putting things together and whatever, and, and it would just be a nice touch. It's not really important in, in the deep depths of the plot or anything like that, but it would just be a nice character moment that the game at some points is just so sorely lacking in. Ah, great. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a long cutscene here. Too bad we don't have a long distance cell phone call we could make here to let people know. There you are. What happened? Are the villagers all right? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. Uh, how do you know that? We suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotsuyu governs Dome, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. Well, crap. 
If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Uh, okay, you Gary, that's way easier said than done. Um, did we not fill her in on the detail that I, the Warrior of Light, completely got my ass handed to me? All right, he, he is not a dude to be messed around with. Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. Yeah, he a filthy cheater. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. I have an idea. Let's call up your brother. <laughs> we know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay. We keep to the shadows, the domain of the shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Yeah, we have our piercing tranquilizer darts and stuff. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to buy your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos' death will not win Dorma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! You hear it, wait! What now? I don't know. I mean, Gosetsu's got a point here, but... We've, de we've defeated Imperial Legions and stuff before like that. If we can somehow get rid of Xenos, even whoever replaces him is probably going to be an easier target. Like, who is going to be, like, the, the only person who could possibly, possibly stand up to Xenos and be worse is his dad. Let let's face it, you know... It may be a temporary solution to a permanent problem, but at least it buys us more time, and Xenos is not somebody who is easily replaced with someone of equal power. Oh, phew. Thought for that, that fade off there for a second. We were going to have another cutscene. So, apologies again for the length of the episode. I was not expecting that cutscene, and I was hopefully was expecting another one of these just before starting it. So, we're going to have to end things here, and hopefully Yugiri is not going to get herself into a huge mess and get herself killed. That would be pretty damn crappy. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.